Lord Maud, we're delighted to welcome you on this Enterprise Nation Go Global trip to Shanghai, mission to Shanghai. Um, why did you decide to support this mission? I thought it was so great that um, this mission was being organised, that uh, uh, the, a bunch of small businesses were deciding to come out, to take the risk and, and come on this venture, and I thought I really wanted to support it. China is such a fantastic opportunity. Uh, and there's no substitute actually for, for getting on a plane, coming out here and seeing how your own business can do business here. So I hope there'll be some good results from it, but I just thought this is the, exactly the kind of enterprising, outgoing, supporting exports activity that deserves total support. And why is China an important market for small UK businesses? Ch China's really important for small businesses uh, because it's just so big. I mean, people keep talking about China slowdown, but hey, I mean, it's slowing down to 7%, 6% growth a year. You know, we could do with a slowdown like that, and we're doing better than any other country in Europe in terms of economic growth. So uh, it's a, just a huge opportunity. And of course, also, the restructuring that's happening and the rebalancing that's happening in the Chinese economy is moving it towards consumption. There is a fast growing middle class with money to spend. Uh, in China. And of course the truth is that British products uh, have a certain cachet and prestige. There's a high value attached to them. Uh, people think there's good quality, they're right to think that. Uh, and so people will pay premium prices for good British products. So we should be out here uh, and getting stuck in, finding the markets, finding the routes to market, uh, getting British products on Chinese shelves so that Chinese consumers can buy them. What are your recommendations for the small businesses on this trip and future future trips uh, to get the most out of them? Network, network, network is the way to get the best out of it. Um, talk to everyone. To, there are loads of people who know what they're doing. Uh, in UKTI, uh, we, uh, the British consulate uh, can provide advice, the China British Business Council, CBBC, can provide advice. Uh, you had uh, companies like HSBC who are co-sponsoring uh, this trip. I mean, they what the Hong Kong and Shanghai Bank don't know about doing business in Shanghai isn't worth knowing. So there's a load of people you can talk to, get advice. Uh, I suppose the second thing is just don't be intimidated, don't be Everyone talks about how difficult it is, and China is completely different. And of course, it's different. everywhere is different, but it doesn't mean it's impossible, it doesn't mean it's impenetrable. So, talk to people. There are loads of businesses that have been successful uh, out here, and they're, they're always, in my experience, very ready to share their experience uh, and to talk about you know, who are the sensible partners to find um, and, um, and, and to get going. What is the government doing to help more UK small businesses do business overseas? Well, look, we're, in terms of how we get more small businesses exporting, doing business overseas, first of all, we need to encourage um, them to think about it. British businesses have historically uh, and recently had a lesser propensity, they're less likely to export than similar businesses in Germany, France, Italy. Um, and that means we're missing opportunities. Also, quite a lot of businesses that start exporting stop exporting uh, after quite a short time, and we need to turn that round. So, what are we doing? First of all, making the case, showing what the opportunities are. And we'll be doing a lot over the next, um, really, next few years just to relentlessly show what the opportunities are around the world. And then, in terms of helping businesses to get access to those opportunities and sell into those opportunities. Well, that's about helping open doors, uh, find the right partners, find the right advice, um, and, uh, and, and also we can maybe help to convene groups of, of exporters together um, uh, who can support each other to get their products out um, in, through distribution channels, and so they have, give a bit of advice about logistics. There's a whole lot of things we can do to help, and, and we'll be doing much more uh, over, the, uh, over the years ahead. Can you give examples of British small businesses that have done particularly well at doing business in China? I'll give you just one example um, of a small business that's done really well out here and continuing to. Um, it's called Cambridge Masks, uh, and it's um, a, a young guy, 
uh, a graduate of a really good university in Cambridge, um, where I was, um, <laughs> and uh, he's uh, set up a business making face masks, anti-pollution face masks. Uh, he manufactured them in Britain um, and exports them to China. Um, we know that China, the big Chinese cities have a problem with pollution, air pollution. Um, and, and it's a classic thing, actually. You would think that um, uh, you know, the, the, the face mask is exactly the kind of product you're going to make in China and, and sell in China. What he's doing is taking a really interesting um, approach, different fabric, um, uh, more successful, uh, and um, uh, and selling it to Chinese consumers, consumers here who want something of them, which is more of a premium product. Uh, and that's what he's doing, and he's doing very well. I'll give you another example, I mean, the classic. Uh, there is a tea plantation in Cornwall. Uh, it makes uh, Cornish tea. I mean, they grow it and they make Cornish tea, and they're exporting tea to China. Uh, and that's, uh, you know, that's, a great, uh, that's a great story. So it can be done. Um, and the truth is, this is just a huge country, a huge economy. Um, the, it contains whatever it is, a fifth, a quarter of the world's population. And it's um, continuing to grow fast, despite the slowdown. Uh, and uh, with a fast-growing uh, middle class, with money to spend, who want good products to buy. And we can provide them. That's what we do in Britain and we can get them out and we can be successful. So the best of good fortune to all who are on that trail. Lord Maud, thank you very much. Thank you.